This episode, I'm gonna cross something off my Christmas creative bucket list. Hey, it's Mark, your host. And speaking of Christmas, I have always wanted to go see the Macy's Holiday Windows. Fortunately for us this November, the weather's been mild, so me and the family jumped in the car and got on the train and got into Chicago. This year's Macy's windows feature Tiptoe, a timid reindeer who needed some encouragement from her woodland friends to pass her flying audition to be on Santa's sleigh team. I really enjoyed seeing the crowds in Chicago take in the windows, and they really were charming. But I am gonna leave a link to a video to the New York City version, which I feel is just much more immersive than the Chicago or Washington DC ones. I've always wanted to be on a creative team or at one of the well-known agencies that does these windows. So I've been dabbling and playing a little bit with Adobe Aero software that makes augmented reality uh, where you can hold up your iPhone or iPad to a scene like one of the holiday windows and have some interactive elements. I think it would be really cool to have that, maybe even an in-home experience since not everyone can get out to see these windows. Anyway, I find the history of Christmas retail windows and visual merchandising really fascinating. The late 1800s saw the invention of plate glass for windows so these stores could display their products and also gas lighting from the street to illuminate them. In 1874, Macy's had their first Christmas window display in New York City that featured hanging porcelain dolls. In 1914, Saks did their first unveiling event for their Christmas windows, kind of to build up the hype and crowds. In 1938, Lord and Taylor kind of broke the mold by doing a Christmas window display that did not feature any of their products. They actually blew around bleached cornflakes to create kind of a snow globe effect. And the 1970s introduced some of the first fantasy dreamscape-like windows, like dragons and palaces and Arabian Nights. The variety of these windows make them so unique. So you could have your really traditional Christmas theme, or maybe a super high-end luxury scene, something really whimsical or funny. And your downright bizarre, I'm not so sure what I'm looking at fantasy window. I really hope this is a Merry Christmas season for you. I know Christmas can be a hard time of the year too, so if that's the case, I hope it is healthy and hopeful. And that'll do it for this episode. I'm Mark for your creative brief.